The role of fathers as role models is a vital aspect of a child's development, shaping their values, beliefs and character. Fathers serve as a source of inspiration, guidance and influence, helping children navigate life's challenges and make important decisions. By witnessing their father's uh, dedication and perseverance, uh, children learn to adopt these qualities themselves, developing a strong work ethic and resilience. Fathers also play a crucial role in breaking traditional gender stereotypes, uh, showing children that nurturing, empathy and vulnerability are valuable traits for anyone. This helps children develop a more inclusive and accepting worldview, free from harmful gender biases. By recognizing the significance of fatherhood, the society can appreciate profound impact uh, they have on their children's lives and strive to emulate the positive qualities they instill. For this conversation, Dr. Otiv Ibuso, development expert and strategies, as well as Dr. Hussein Zakaria, uh, national religious uh, focal persons, UNICEF Nigeria joins us now. Uh, they both uh, will share the perspective on the importance of fathers in the society and how much honor uh, they deserve. Good to have you, gentlemen, on News Day. All right. Thank you for having us. Very good. So yeah. I'm going to start with you, Dr. Ibuzo. Uh, what would you regard as the major roles of fathers in parenting for gender equality? Well, well I, I think, think fathers, fathers have, have great roles to play in uh, parenting for gender equality. We know that uh, children form their behavior from the formative years. So in terms of uh, setting good examples for the children, in terms of training the children uh, in the way of the Lord. If, if he's a Christian, I'm sure uh, my brother Muslim will talk about how Muslims are supposed to also train their children. And um, being a positive role model for their children. Uh, from the Christian perspective, uh, the Bible is very clear. There are two clear scriptures that give an indication of the role of the Father. One, the first is generic. That is Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6 which says that train a child in the way of the Lord, and when he grows old, he will not depart from it. The other is Ephesians chapter 6, verse 4, which says, Fathers, provoke not your children to rock, but nurture them and admonish them in the way of the Lord. So if you see it, first, fathers are supposed to play leadership role. Fathers are supposed to play a nurturing role. And fathers are supposed to live as example. But the challenge we see is that in society, you know, there are many absentee fathers who do not give the role model to the children. In fact, it's even ironical, especially for the Christian faith, that in, in practice, the mothers are expected to train the children. But if you look through the scriptures, even though uh, in Proverbs chapter 31, it talks about the virtues of the women. But it is fathers that were given deliberate responsibility of training the children in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 4. So fathers have great role, leadership, headship role, serving as example, nurturing the children in the way of the Lord, correcting them in love, and providing for them. All right, okay, um, Dr. Zachariah. Let me, permit me to actually start it off. Uh, yeah, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Um, parenting in Islam is a very serious business. Very significant and important role, the father. The father is not only to father the children into this world, but take responsibilities which Allah has placed upon him and the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is to say, the father, first and foremost, is the protector of the family. He has to secure them, to give them a secure environment, and to protect them from every apprehension or fear during the day or the night. Secondly, he has to provide for their daily needs. This includes, of course, the feeding, the 
clothing, their health uh, uh, concerns, as well as educating them. When in Islam, education uh, is of two, two folds, the worldly education, and of course, the godly education. First and foremost is to bring your child to a state of understanding that he is a direct creation of his Lord, of his God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He has to love him, God, he has to respect Allah, he has to fear Allah, and he has to do his biddings in all circumstances. Two, instill in the child or the children the love of the Prophet Muhammad sallam. They have to respect him, they have to love him, they have to guard against his, his integrity, and this is very important teachings which Islam me for that is for the father to give or instill in his own children. Two, their clothing. When you, are, when you have children, boys and girls, you have to differentiate from their kinds of clothing. Women should not wear the cloth of, of boys, nor the boys to wear the clothes of, of girls. Therefore, this is very important. Make him a, a boy that is going to grow into a man and make her a girl who is going to grow into a woman. And give them the roles. There are social roles which the father must teach his children. First and foremost, he has to show them who are the siblings in the house, who are the relations, relatives of the father and the mother uh, in an extended family. He has to know the name of each member of that extended family and respect them and also take their orders as though they are their parents. This is very, very important because the parenting of a child is not the, the duty of the father alone. It is the duty of the, of the community, it is the duty of the extended family, it is the duty of the mosque, it is the duty of the teachers in school, it is the duties also of his own siblings. You have to choose for the children, you have to choose for them who are their friends. Uh, and also who are, who are, the, are their associates in, in the, as, as they grow up. You have to choose for them who are supposed to relate to them in the school, outside the school, at home, and outside the house. Similarly, you have to uh, train him to participate in the community uh, activities. If there is a marriage ceremony, take, take him along with you. If there is a, a burial ceremony, take him along with you so that he will differentiate he will understand the, the two worlds of one world of happiness and of course one, 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 one world of, of, uh, of, uh, of anger and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, and, and tribulations which affects men and women uh, in their own lives. This is very, very important. Similarly, you have to train him to be resilient in his life, to be independent in his own life. He has to take life as it comes to him and accept the challenges of whatever God has destined for him to become and tell him that this is not all. He has siblings to take care of, yes, if he's better than them materially. He has also parents, his grandfather, his grandmother, his aunties, his uncles. All these are part and parcel of the family that he has to take care of them. These are the teachings that the father has to teach his children along with his, along with his, his, his wife who is the mother of the children, because it's a shared responsibilities. The mother teaches the, 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 the girls their own roles, how to cook, how to sweep the house, how to wash the plates, how to take care of the, of the younger siblings. Uh, oh, and the father takes the, the child to the farm, to the market, to the, to, uh, to, to, to the, to the mocks, anywhere that the roles of the boys has to be actually distinguished uh, broadly between the roles of women. Unfortunately, nowadays, with the influence of the social medias. We are seeing where children are trans actually what is called uh, gender, gender uh, mutilations, where uh, a boy will tell his, his father, I don't want to be a boy. God has made a mistake of making me a boy. Uh, so I want to be a girl. And the father has no right, the mother has no right to say no, to challenge that boy. He will undergo the operations and becomes a lady. And this is not allowed in Islam. In Islam, we don't spare the roads also. Because when you spare the roads, the child gets spoiled. 
So uh, well, I remember about 50 years ago when I was in secondary school, uh, uh, I, I, was, I was trained as a teacher, and, uh, and uh, one of the teachings uh, principles that we were taught is that we should not spare the roads. That's why morality was actually rampant those, 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 those days and those years. Uh, now, uh, the, the influence of the West, and the influence of the social media, the influence of televisions, and, uh, and, and, uh, and Western films, and, and, uh, and maybe even interactions, actually has actually affected our kind of training, our kind of educations, our kind of parenting that we give to our children, because we have a lot of interferences which shouldn't be. Therefore, the father has to accept that he is the role model of the family. He has to be punctual in all occasions. He has to be trustworthy. He has to be trustful. He has to be honest. He has to actually have an integrity which will be imbibed into actually the children that uh, he has under his care. Similarly, he is, the, of course, the breadwinner. And, uh, and this is, uh, he has to actually look for good food, uh, good nutrition, uh, uh, and also uh, good water for them to drink. He has to provide for them all that they need to grow uh, as fully grown and uh, uh, educationally, emotionally, morally, and, uh, and, 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 and uh, so that, so that they, they can participate actually in the community in which they belong uh, uh, perfectly, and they will actually be a round hole actually in the round actually. Uh, in the round circumstances, and not actually a square uh, row, uh, hole in an, in an oblong circumstances. This all is very, very important all in all Islam. Right, uh, all right, Dr. Zakaria, if I may come in now. Um, Dr. Ibuzo, um, uh, in redefining uh, gender roles regarding fathers as catalysts, uh, or change it. What would be the major challenges for fathers who have to raise female children uh, in a society like ours on their own? Uh, we heard when Dr. Zakaria was mentioning the issue of peer pressure and of course social media as well. So help us uh, you know, understand this scenario in this regard. Yeah, um, there is a lot of challenges in the modern world for parents to bring up their children uh, to have uh, in a positive manner. Uh, as a matter of fact, even when both the father and mother are together, it is challenging. Uh, uh, and it's much more challenging for fathers as single fathers to bring up their children. But uh, if you look at the challenges because if you want to solve a problem, you look at the root cause. If you look at the challenges, you notice that the challenges are rooted in the patriarchal arrangement of society. The way society is arranged has affected the psyche of people. It has affected the behavior of people. It has affected the way people are raised. So the male children are raised to be domineering, to be aggressive, to be violent, and uh, to engage even in behaviors that can be harmful to them. Why the female children are raised to be timid, to be submissive, and to be obedient. So naturally, if a male child jumps on top of the table, it's normal. But if a female child jumps on top of the table, he's hushed down to say, look, calm down. Don't you know you are a girl? And so the way people are socialized is, is very critical. But I think the beginning point for single father, and indeed everyone in society, is to have awareness is to be exposed Gentlemen. to the dangers, to the dangers yeah. of patriarchal arrangement of society right. and to raise children in a new way, to see masculinity and femininity in a new and positive way. All right. So that thank you very much. Uh, the, the boy child. Okay, thank you. Uh, we unfortunately we've run out of time. I want to say thank you very much, gentlemen.
for speaking on the subject of fathers and their role in society today. Thank you.